Hello. Did you know that over 100,000 horses go to slaughter each year? Hi, I'm Kaylee Millar. I'm with the Sable Mace 4 H Club, and this is my second presentation at Horse Communications. I have been in 4 H for four years, and I'm 15 years old. Today, I will be presenting to you about horse slaughter. So some of today's topics that I will be addressing are how do horses become slaughter bound, horse meat in America, the controversy over American horse meat, wild horse populations, the Bureau of Land Management, and the overall question of why do people eat horse meat? How do horses become slaughter bound? Auctions are one contributing factor. There are many horses that are sold by way of auctions. The horses that are sold at auctions are all disciplines, ages, and breeds. Auctions are a very fast and efficient way of selling horses, so it does not require a lot of money or resources to sell them. Kill buyers are usually present at the auctions. They are the people who buy horses for very cheap prices and take them to slaughter. The horses are taken to kill pens where they are killed for glue, meat, dog food, and many other uses. The horses that are transported are usually transported in stock trailers for very long periods of time. The horses do not have access to food or water, and many result in injury due to the harsh conditions. Horse meat in America. Horse meat has been used in America for thousands of years. Horse meat was most recently used during World War II. Today, horse meat manufacturing is banned as the last U.S. slaughterhouse was closed on June 29, 2007 in Texas. American horse meat is assumed unsafe to eat due to the horse's medical records not always being 100% accurate. Race horses and other performance horses have been known to be given drugs and other powerful performance enhancers. The drugs can remain permanently in the horse's system, affecting the meat and causing severe health problems with those who consume it. Controversy over American horse meat. The question is, is American horse meat safe to eat? The answer to this question is no. This is because many horse industries have had issues with people who drug their horses. There are illegal drugs like phenylbutazone and clenbuterol, which are for inflammatory purposes. And then there are also agency approved drugs like furosemide, which is used for internal bleeding, especially in the lungs. The reason that some of these drugs are illegal is because they pose a threat to those who will eat the meat if the horse is slaughtered. There are no ways to remove 100% of the drugs from the horse's system due to the drug's long-term effects, but horses are required to stay in feedlots for six months before they are slaughtered. After the horses stay in feedlots, the drug affidavits confirm that the horse is drug-free. The only problem with this system is that the drug affidavits are easily falsified and these methods tend to not be 100% sufficient in making sure that the horses are drug-free. I found this cartoon on an NPR article and thought that it depicted how some horses are treated at the racetrack. The wild mustangs live on public land in over 200 herd areas in 10 different states. The problem with where the mustangs live is that people can lease these lands. The private land costs a lot more to lease than public land where the mustangs live on. Private ranch land can cost up to and over $60 an acre, while public land only costs $1.49. The other problem with where the mustangs live is that the people can hold leases for years at a time, constantly renewing each time the lease ends. The Bureau of Land Management, the BLM, controls the wild mustang populations. They have many different methods, including roundups for adoption to give mares birth control, and to overall track the herd numbers. The slaughter of wild mustangs is influenced by the bill that was killed in 1971. The bill that was killed was a bill that did not allow the BLM to sell their horses to kill buyers. Although the bill was killed and kill buyers are allowed to buy mustangs, there are some guidelines. The horses have to be over 10 years old and the horses have to be adopted within three sales. If the horses are not adopted within three sales, the kill buyers have free choice of the horses. 
Let's take a quick break and test what you know about horse slaughter. For question one, how many horses do you think are sold each year for slaughter? A. 40,000 B. 100,000 or C. 2,000 If you chose answer B, then you were correct. For question two, what do you think the average cost of horse meat is per pound? A. $1 B. $20 or C. $60 all of these answers are accurate because it all depends on the price of the cut of meat. For question three, how many horses do you think were sold on average by the BLM in 2019? A, 7,000, B, 200, or C, 10,000? If you chose answer A, then you were correct. Now, let's address the overall question. Why do people eat horse meat? People eat horse meat because it is a very nutritious meat. It is lean, high in protein, low in cholesterol, and has nutrients like iron and omega-3 fatty acids. During World War II, like I had mentioned earlier, horse meat was a very important part of the diet. During World War II, horse meat was available for everyone. However, today it is a delicacy. Horse meat is prepared in many different dishes the normal horse age 10 to 15 years provides red meat, while in Italy, full meat provides white meat and is a very prized delicacy. In conclusion, today we went over how horses become slaughter bound, horse meat and its history in America, the controversy over American horse meat due to drugging, wild horse populations and how they contribute to horse slaughter, the Bureau of Land Management and how they control wild horse populations, and, of course, why do people eat horse meat? Thank you for listening to my presentation today. I hope you enjoyed. I would like to inform you that I did have to modify my presentation a bit. If you have any further questions about my topic, you can reach me at kayleemm at icloud.com. Kaylee is spelled K-A-Y-L-I-E. Thank you.